Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdays and Travels. And if you are new here, I hope that you stick around and watch my content. I do a lot of Disney content. I'm a travel agent, a Disney avid fan for life, and I have a lot of Disney content on this channel. And today's video is no exception because I am gonna be doing a video where I talk about Disney Cruise Live. I have not been so excited to share with you my experiences since I've gone on a cruise recently in January. I have been waiting to film this video for a while. This year went by kind of fast, so I had to postpone doing this video, but this is gonna be what I got as a fish extender gift, the um, exchanges that you do on board the ship, and then also what I got from my Disney Cruise Line trip in general. So this is also gonna be a haul video. So it's fish extender gifts and my haul, everything that I got from the Disney Cruise that I took this past January. I went on the Disney Magic, for those of you who are not aware, um, it was my birthday cruise. I was super excited to go. My very first ever Disney cruise, and I was able to go with my entire family. So my immediate family, as well as my parents went as well. So we all had a blast. And I participated in this thing called fish extenders. I had no idea what those were before the Disney cruise. So what are fish extenders, you might be asking yourself. I learned this as I was planning for my first Disney cruise, but they are exchanges that you can do on a cruise. They're usually um, conducted via social media. So they are arranged um, before you get on board the ship with fellow passengers like yourself. So you just find out like who is currently doing a fish extender group or a group exchange on Facebook, for example. And then if you type in the name of your ship as well as the dates of your particular cruise, you will probably find maybe one or two groups that are related specifically to your particular cruise. And all you do is you just make a request to join that group. And once you're admitted, it's just you and everybody else who is also um, identified themselves as also going on that cruise. So you guys are talking back and forth. You can ask your questions. You can also just kind of like get some advice on what to plan for for your trip. And then in addition to that, there is this thing called fish extender groups, which are ex um, on every single Disney cruise. There are these little fish right by the door and they have a little like open mouth and you can traditionally hang these almost like these portable hanger with like different sleeves. There's like five compartments. I'll insert a screen, a picture on the screen if I can. And that's the traditional fish extender exchange is that you would have these pockets that if you participate in this group exchange, you would exchange information with the fellow passengers, find out what room they're staying in, and then just leave a gift in a basket in one of their pockets each day. You can buy for one particular person in their cabin or you could buy for all the people in their cabin. It's completely up to you. You're not obligated to buy for everyone. It's just what you particularly feel like doing. Um, but what I did in my ship is that we were originally assigned groups of 10. So I think we had like three different groups, group A, group B, group C. Once it filled up, they would go on to the next one. So I think I was in group B. Group C never actually filled up. But each group was 10 people participating and that's who you would be exchanging gifts with. And on my particular cruise, because we are dealing with COVID and people having to cancel last minute because they got sick or they tested positive um, at the actual ship, you know, before you go on a Disney cruise, you do have to get tested. They're the only cruise line that's doing this right now. They are actually testing you at the port before you step aboard the ship. So they are testing you to make sure that you are not positive. And some people didn't realize, but they were positive and they, would mess they were messaging the group last minute saying, we're so sorry that we're not gonna be able to go on this cruise. And that's how we knew that our group of 10 quickly became, I think, a group of six. So there were six different groups that were participating, including my own room. So we had five total rooms to purchase for. So I gave gifts. I filmed that so I can do that portion of like what I gave as a fish exchange. You guys can see what I did as a first timer. And I'm also going to show you today what I received in return and also what we got from the cruise. So there's a lot of information. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to send me the questions in the chat and I will try do my best to kind of answer all your questions because I know a lot of people have questions about Disney cruises. There's not a ton of information out there, honestly. So I'm happy to be a resource now that I've gone on my very first one. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's go into what I purchased for everyone. I did like a little like clip while I filmed into my childhood family home. I did a little snippet of that footage as well. So I'll insert that here. When you're in Miami, you have checks outside your drive through <laughs> That's a chicken here. Stop it. It's fresh. <laughs> There's these fish extender groups where you can give gifts on the ship. So I ordered a bunch of these from this company, Pixie Dusted Stitches. And she's on Etsy as well. Super cute little um, card they have here. And she got this to me so fast. I'm really impressed. This is my order sheet. 
but they're meant to be gifts. This is um, literally like a list of like all the people that are going on my cruise and what their favorite characters are. You guys can see here notes like special occasion, first cruise, birthday, etc. And then you have emails and contact info. So what I'm doing is I'm just assembling real quick what will be the gifts that I give. I have like little baggies I'm going to put them in and magnets, but I have my first Disney cruise with the gang here that she made for me. And also this one with Mickey Minnie it says my first Disney cruise 2022, I had it dated. So I got one for myself, of course, because I'm also a first time cruiser, but then I also got gifts for the ones that also said first cruise. So I'm about to put these in bags for them. And then I also ordered night lights because apparently the cabin rooms are really dark. Don't mind my nails. Um, so I have this one with the Mickey Pirates, a pirate lights for me. And this is for someone that is a really big, a big um, Mickey fan. I have a Marvel fan on board. So I have this Marvel Day at Sea night light one. This one says, may the light be with you. And it's like a Jedi Mickey for a Star Wars lover. And then finally, I have a Frozen lover. So I got her this one that says, let it glow. But that was super adorable. So those are my four night lights that I ordered. And you're basically just ordering for 10 different um, rooms aboard. So I also have this like Frozen puzzle, birthday buttons as well. So for those who said it was my birthday, I also ordered these. And they can say it says, it's my birthday. And I have this one as well three different styles I ordered um so it's my birthday with Mickey Mouse with the confetti I have the my birthday cruise with Mickey Minnie and the sailor outfits I have some extra gifts in here too some stuff from Daiso that I picked up for different gifts so I'm excited to go ahead and re-gift a couple of these things that I got from Daiso onto the fellow um lovers as well like I just love getting different gifts like this and then I brought some stationery so I can leave them little notes it's kind of like a tropical paradise and I'll leave them a little note with this as well so they know it came from my room but I'm super excited to get these gifts out and that is going to be for our upcoming cruise and the last personalized gift that I got was this Millennium Falcon keychain it was uh, just a nice little fun add-on for the Star Wars loving family in our group so I thought that would be nice and fun and this was an extra one that I just happened to grab for that gift exchange unboxing the nightlight a little envelope created for you don't want to rip this so hold on there we go and then it's like a little light so cute and then it even tells you what to do it says to charge the battery change battery and then to use you just flip it up so you push this down and then you'll have an instant night light in the room cute I will say for this particular cruise, um, our group was a little bit modified because we are cruising post COVID. The guidelines that Disney Cruise Line has enforced have changed a little bit from people that are used to how it was maybe a couple years ago. For our particular cruise, um, we had found out from the person in charge of the groups that we were allowed to do the exchange of gifts on our ship. We just could not use the actual fish extenders. They didn't want to hang anything on the rooms just to keep like, you know, distancing and to prevent you know, surfaces being touched from other passengers aboard the ship. Disney still has it on their website as of today. I did check. Um, it's in the Know Before You Go section. If you go to, you know, the FAQ, Know Before You Go, and then you click on the On the Ship section, at the very bottom, it does say a little a text that says from Disney, door-to-door -door gift exchanges, aka fish extenders, are currently prohibited aboard the ships. Um, that doesn't mean that they're not still happening. So what I found out from my group is that on our ship, The Magic, in January, we were permitted to do uh, gifts exchanges as long as we did not use the actual fish extenders. As long as we did not use the fish, we were okay. So you had to get something that could be uh, um, placed on the door. So all the doors on the ship are magnetic. So you would get like these magnets that were really strong. It could hold a lot of weight and so I got these really large magnets and you could just post it on your door for people to hang things and then what they had to do is just bring the items in bags and tie them up and maybe able to hold them and hang them on the door so that's how we got our gifts exchanged I know that another friend of mine recently cruised at the same exact time and she told me that on their ship they were not allowed to do that at all um hers actually took place like a day before mine so the rules might have been different but for their cruise they actually met up in person and did the exchanges for our cruise we didn't have to do that it actually was okay to do it contactless and leave it at the person's door you just had to hang it on their physical door on a strong magnet if it didn't hang on a magnet then you couldn't leave it and that's just how it worked on my ship on my ship so I did actually see one person it seemed like they were doing um their own fish exchange of gift gifts um on the fish extenders uh si on side by side 
because I did walk around the cruise ship just to kind of see like what other rooms were doing. It was fun to kind of like explore and see what magnets people put on their door because that's another fun thing that people do on Disney Cruises is they decorate with magnets. And I saw that there were two um, cabins that were side by side and it seemed like they knew each other because they had similar magnets and, and same design. So that's how you can kind of tell when people are traveling together if their magnets are kind of themed together. And it seemed like they both had a basket on each door. So they were definitely doing a gift exchange with the two of them, which maybe some people opted to do that, you know, just do like a private gift exchange so they could still have the fun. But at any rate, let's go into my gifts. So I don't have this in the individual bag, but I can show you some of the items that I did receive. For example, um, for my particular room, my parents didn't participate. So it was just me, my husband and my two kids. My kids are age seven and four. And in the um, gift exchange, you would say what the person's name was their age, and then you could give a little bit of favorite characters. That's all that they, it's a very small window of information that you could work with, but you would just know this person likes Thor, this person likes um, Moana, this person likes Ariel, and this person likes Donald Duck. And that's it. That's all the sex that you would get. So for some people, it was like one character. For other people, it was a little bit more information, like particularly in one room at my gift exchange, I remember one person had put that her daughter was eight years old and she wrote no princesses whatsoever. And then for their favorite characters, they gave examples of likes Ray and um, Star Wars. So if you kept in the Star Wars realm for that particular person, you were good, but she was trying to make it clear, don't go the princess route, even though she's a little girl, she's not into that. And I appreciated that information because the more details that you have, the better you can buy for somebody else. Um, so for ours, I did specify that my daughter's favorite princesses were Elsa, Rapunzel, Ariel, um, and Belle. I think that's what I put down because those are her favorite princesses. And um, I put my favorites. <laughs> and for my husband, I said he likes Thor or whatever the wife likes because he really was like, I don't really need to participate in this. But I did put one particular character for each person. Then for my son, I think I put like Mickey Mouse because he's little. He doesn't really have any favorites, but he does like Mickey. So at any rate, this is what we got as some of the gifts for the kids. Somebody left us these punch balloons, and this is a two-pack from Disney Junior, and it's like one of those items that you might find at Walmart, for example. You guys can see that the inflatable punch balloons, you can just like kind of inflate and then like bounce it back and forth. I decided not to do this on the cruise and to take it home and do it here because I didn't want my kids to like get in a, any trouble, and those, those cabins are kind of small and narrow, so the less physical activity that we have happening, probably the better. <laughs> but this is kind of an example of the gift that was given for the kids. It's something that's like a little bit, you know, on the cheaper side but for kids you can go get away with things like this but some people went the more expensive route and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second but it was nice to see like a variety of gifts so this particular person left this for my son I'm assuming and then we also got this Elsa doll she was in a plastic bag at the time but they gifted my daughter Elsa and she actually really likes this little plush doll she's really cute and small and again it's not something that's like too big um it wasn't like something that was overbearing that I had to worry about taking it into my my luggage because we did have to fly back home this was just small enough to fit in our luggage so I really appreciate that they gave us like these portable gifts that my daughter could enjoy on the ship and then beyond as well so she does still play with this doll and she thinks it's really cute so I thought this was a nice touch they saw that I had listed Elsa as one of her favorite characters and they went for it then this is something that I have I'm just taking stuff out from my luggage as I go but somebody gave us this Marvel bag and you can see that they put Marvel family and it said our room number, for example, so it said 6060, and this one came from the Cadwells. So I know that this family was from New Jersey. I really appreciate them giving us that. And then I only have two things left in this bag because I had to take everything out and put it in my luggage that way so it could fit. But they had a whole bag full of stuff in here, so I appreciate that. And one of the items was like, this was a gift, um, and this was a, like, a Disney Mickey Mouse nail file. So something that's very simple but practical so that you could do your nails aboard the ship. And these are always good to have and handy, so I appreciated that practical gift as well. Another family gave us these purses. We actually have two, but I guess they figured we um, had one, you know, female parent and one one daughter, so they gave us two purses. And this is like a Minnie Mouse themed ears right here with the blue and the navy, um, the polka dots. It's a cute little like purse, and it does have a little strap that you could have just like the um, for like a handbag take this out on the nights and on the town, for example. So that's one that I have here. And then this is the other one. It's more like a Mickey Mouse, um, you know, design. Cause this one's like a Navy and this one's black and white, more traditional, um, but super cute. They gave us these two little purses, both the same idea. And, um, you know, like, again, not like a super expensive 
um, item, but something that is just like versatile that, you know, you could give to anyone that you don't really know, like a particular interest and taste and favor. So something nice. Another family gave us these emergency kits. And I had actually seen something like this on Etsy. There's actually a lot of Etsy shops um, and, you know, just different uh, stores that are dedicated around fish extender type of gifts that you can get on boats. So there's only a handful, maybe like 20 or something. And then you kind of saw, saw like a repeat of the same kind of products. But this is something that I saw as an option that you could buy for each of the people in your cabin. And this particular family did that because it was like a fun curated emergency, see the SEA play on words, kit. So this is like a first aid kit and things that you might need in your room. In here were some hair ties, which I did use on the boat. I actually was like, oh, I totally needed hair ties. I was trying to find them. So I liked that it came in this little kit. Plus it's also, um, you can like, it's like a little Ziploc case. So you can also just seal it um, and take it and refill it as needed. So I'm going camping this weekend as I'm filming and I'm probably gonna take this with us because it's a perfect size. But for example, it had alcohol um, pads. So this is something in case you have like an accident, they included that. They included this little lip balm. They included this small portable flashlight, which is really nice. And it also has a little carabiner hook. So you could hook this up onto a bag and take this with you. Also, because at nighttime, the cabins in any any cruise, not even Disney Cruise Line, um, get really dark because, you know, you're out in sea and it's really dark outside. So this is something that is another practical gift that you could use to kind of get yourself some light if you need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So that's actually a nice little touch. Um, they also included this little, it's like a Neosporin off-brand. It says triple antibiotic, but it's the same idea as Neosporin. It's just the off, not the name brand that they gave us there. And then I also have a bunch of uh, Mickey Mouse themed band-aids. So I can see right here, Mickey and Minnie poking through this little design. Um, I have about four of those, as well as other various band-aids. So for example, this one's like the you know, like the size that you have like the two little wings on each side. So something nice and practical is just a little basically a first aid kit that had all the essentials. And, you know, it's something that's like thoughtful like this. that You're like, huh, I appreciate it. Thank you. The family that gave us those punch balloons probably also gave us this. This is the Avengers um, punch balloons. And I think I've seen these in Walmart, for example. So just an example of just different products that you can just like find that are Disney or Avengers and Star Wars themed and just put them aside for a little like fish extender gifts. So this is cute too. Flip side, we got some more stuff for our kids. Um, this was like velvet art with Minnie Mouse with little, um, uh, you know, bedazzle sparkles down there. Now this is something that you would find like at Dollar Tree, for example. So this is just a family that got us a couple different like craft type of items to keep the kids busy. So we got that. We also got this one from the same family and it's a color forms um, Disney Junior Mickey. Um, and it's a sticker story. So inside is a little scene, you could put stickers on it. So. Something that's cute and fun for my kids, once again. And then that same family also gave us this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse um, coloring book. Again, all these items, I'm pretty sure you can probably find at Dollar Tree or something like that. So they just got us a couple of like items that were specific to keep the kids entertained. Then another family gave us these um, patches. So something that is typical on Disney cruises is there's usually a pirate cruise night on um, cruises that last three nights or more. And we did have a pirate's night, which was awesome. And it's just one night of the cruise, um, I think it was like the third day of our five day cruise, where um, everyone will get like pirate gear and just get doll up. And I spent literally the days leading up to the cruise trying to find pirate items. I had no luck because I didn't pre-plan this enough. I kind of took the cruise last minute. So I didn't pre-order these on Amazon. All Amazon had was like really expensive. So I was like, I don't know if it's worth it at that point. But I even tried going to like Party City or different stores like that to see if someone might have a pirate costume. And everyone told me it's not Halloween. So no, we don't have that. But then this one family, very, very sweetly, I thought, provided two of, the, of these little patches for the kids. So each kid had an eye patch, which was awesome because we did end up getting patches gifted to us from the cruise, but we didn't know that was going to happen. So to have this like pre-bought, we were like, ah, oh, okay, so we will actually use this. And then um, we had bought a patch set um, on the ship. Like there's different stores you could buy merchandise. So they actually did have some pirate themed items specifically for families who want to buy stuff for their pirate night, right? And we had bought two different patch sets. But when we saw that we had gotten this gifted to us, we actually returned one of them, kept the other one only because it was pink and because it would cost a dollar. It was like discounted. So we're like, eh, whatever, but super nice. And then in theming with that Marvel family bag, we also had someone just give us like a big Walmart bag full of thing, different things, which was a nice touch too. And then we had another family that actually 
took the time to custom make these bags, probably on Etsy or the like, and it has dated with the dates of our cruise. So I will always treasure this because it actually has the dates that we went on our first Disney cruise. You can see on that down there, it says Disney Magic, has the Disney Cruise Line logo, and then those are the dates of our cruise ship sailing. So that was pretty awesome that they took the time to make these tote bags for everyone. Um, and one of the gifts that we were gifted, uh, we actually had a Mickey and a Minnie version. I don't know where Mickey went at the time, at this moment, but here is Minnie Mouse Sim Sim that we were also gifted, and I'm assuming these were made for my kids, um, or included for my kids, which is nice, but a nice touch. By the way, I'm wearing these ears that is um, made by a fellow Disney YouTuber. Her name is Kylie, and she actually does, loves going on Disney cruises, and I thought this was a good um, color palette for talking about Disney cruise. I don't have any Disney Cruise Line um, ears, but the, the navy you know, the, the blue kind of like stood out to like the navy and aspect for that. So I thought that'd be kind of a good touch. But back to the bag. Um, so some of the extra items that we were given, for example, we were given this aerial bath bomb. And again, I don't know if this family that made this bag gave us these items because we did just kind of take things from different bags and combine them before we left just so make it easier for traveling, you know, less stuff in general. But we did get an aerial bath bomb, which is awesome because I'm assuming this gift was gifted to her me since I put that Ariel was my favorite princess. So nice little touch and I'm gonna have to use this. <laughs> another family gave us this 500 piece Disney puzzle. So another like, you know, inexpensive item that was gifted to us, but really sweet. Oh, I forgot about this. So we did cruise right after Christmas time. So one of the families gave us this Christmas themed, it's a lip gloss. It's a bubble gum flavored lip gloss and it's kind of like Santa, Mickey and Minnie. So that's kind of cute and it's a little cell phone case. So it's like a nice packaging and Again, something fun for, the, for my daughter, I'm assuming. In addition to the Mickey Mini puzzle, we also got the Sleeping Beauty one, which actually looks pretty awesome. I'm kind of excited for the design of this one. Something fun for the um, Halloween season as well. Oh, um, from the first aid C kit, we were also given this little um, emergency packet of Tylenol. So it fell out, but I thought that was another nice little touch to give, you know, like if you needed Advil, you need Tylenol and you had like a headache, they included that as well. Another family gave us this like assorted Tums packet in case somebody had a stomach ache, they did have this so that you could go ahead and kind of have some antacid relief. Also pretty practical and nice. And I also got this from one of the families. This is one of the nicest gifts, I think, because this is magnetic and we actually had it displayed on our door for a while. And it's just a fun little like cruise kit that I think they either made or they ordered, but it's got a bunch of uh, shells inside. It's got some beach sand and then it's a small little bottle, like a message in the bottle. And then the background is Disneyified. So it's got like Goofy, um, and there's Minnie and Mickey like lounging in the background. It's really hard to see, um, but it's just this fun little scene that's covered in sand. It's like this like, beachy aesthetic and it's like a little porthole, which is very appropriate for a Disney cruise because it's full of portholes. And then it's magnetic, so we could stick it on our magnetic door or inside our room and just have a fun little display piece. So that was really thoughtful all, all in all. And those are all the kind of the gifts that we got from the Disney cruise. And then I just found a couple of things I also received. We've got these eight pack of markers, Mickey Mouse themed, to go along with the coloring book. They also gave us these um, these crayons. So Mickey Mouse crayons, Mickey Mouse markers. Um, this is the Mickey Zoom Zoom that I couldn't find before, but you guys can see I had a Mickey and a mini one. We also got some glow sticks that were gifted to us for the kids, I'm sure, to use on the cruise ship. And then I had this whole bag full of stuff. This must have been from one family because I kept it together. And they even put our room number on it. You can see the things that are in here. This is like a Winnie the Pooh passport cover. Some extra Disney goods they had laying around. We've got a couple of these Echo bags. These are like the bags that come out the shopping. And they fold them into little pouches. So this is a Hong Kong one. I thought that was actually pretty cool to have a Hong Kong themed bag in here. Um, we also got a couple of coin purses. So there's a Winnie the Pooh one. None of us mentioned that Winnie the Pooh was on our favorites, but, you know, this is obviously, like, extra Disney gifts, so it's a nice thought. Um, you can see, like, the Tsum Tsum characters in Disney style, another Echo bag. This is a, another passport cover, and this one is Sleeping Beauty themed. Just some fun extra goodies. They have some more of these coin purses. This is a note from them. It says, Happy, Cru Happy Cruising. This is from the Morissette family. You can see they have a little, like, personalized note in here. They probably gave to all the families. Another little cruise... Um, coin bag, another uh, Spider-Man coin bag. So lots and lots of Disney goods. Then we have these magic towels as well. So we have this one and this one. Looks like Rapunzel and Mickey Mouse as well. So they try to capture a lot of our different Disney favorites within this bag. 
And finally, one of the last things someone gave us was um, when you go on Disney cruises, a lot of times you're taking your ID cards around and using that as your form of identification as well as payment. Uh, and then when you leave the ship to go to Disney's private island, Castaway Key, you also need to bring that as long as a, a picture ID to get back onto the ship. So what a lot of people do or they purchase are these little like lanyard, um, you know, that you can like have like the string and then the badges go in the plastic sleeve. And we had one family gift that to us, which is really sweet. And it actually was a really useful practical gift once again, that we used throughout the ship. So as you can see, a lot of what we were gifted was like practical things, you know, like, again, you're not really sure what person, people's particular tastes are. So you could go that route, or you go like the more like, you know, fun gift route, whatever you want to do. I think kind of like the sky's the limit. There really isn't any price budget. There isn't any particular expectation of how many gifts you're going to get from one family either. It's just whatever was like in your heart, just to give something along the lines of something that's like a fun token of your trip to somebody else and it's just fun to get different gifts each day you could do it the first day you could do it the last day you could do it in the middle of the, the cruise you could do it every day to give to a different family it's really up to you to kind of get into that spirit of you know paying it forward like you're on this disney cruise and you're excited and you want to just celebrate with other families who are also on a disney cruise and i forgot to say earlier but in the questionnaire sheet that we had from my particular group in addition to asking what the person's age was and their name and the room number they also had a section where they asked like special notes and people would leave things like like um, first Disney cruise or first cruise ever or anniversary or birthday and that was kind of a way to tell people if you were celebrating a special occasion or what this cruise meant to you so you could also tailor the gifts to that as well so I got these special buttons that were either like happy birthday buttons or they were anniversary buttons or they were first cruise buttons and people I think really enjoy that because I got compliments throughout the cruise never I wore them myself they're like where'd you get that from so something fun to think about and finally I did mention in the beginning that I had said my husband liked Thor I'm pretty sure this came from the Marvel bag, but they made one for my husband that has his name, says Matthew, has a Thor helmet, and it's a personalized cup. This was actually like the coolest gift we received, my favorite item, which is funny because it's going to my husband, um, and I was like, you got a customized cup, that's so cool, and so they went all out with the Thor theming for him, so those are all the gifts that we got as part of the gift exchange, so something fun for everyone, really enjoyed doing it, and I would definitely recommend it as a way to just kind of extend the fun of your cruise. And this is what they gave us on the cruise for the, um, the Pirates Night. You can see that everyone got this little, like, bandana that says Pirates of the Caribbean with Pirate Mickey. So that was really awesome. Nice way to, like, round out the trip. But thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. And um, stay tuned for the next part of this Disney Cruise Line series where I'll show what I got myself as souvenirs. And also, I will report back on the cruise itself with some vlogs. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.